Right then, out in the VXR, first video I've done in a while. We're off to Motorist for a Vauxhall day. Just meeting Spencer, whose car is there. I see what's going on. Probably only hang around for an hour or two and then head home. I'll give you an update on the car and what's going on and when the next track day and stuff is. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by in everything see you in the next life have to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me i just feel way pushing on my chest and it squeeze till i suffocate better change my mindset meditate it's pretty cool that i'm alive and have better days i could walk see here i should celebrate think i could change my mind maybe yellow Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better day. I'm kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young once, yeah, that's all great. But I also want a future where I'm okay. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us, and that's okay. Well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. Because there's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut, it can show you what you want. Living life. Every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better days. Living life, every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe. It's caused quite a stir on the internet this one, hasn't it? Yeah. It's like actually well done, and it's something different, isn't it? Oh, what's the wheels on it then? I haven't even seen them.
Right, so that's it for his trip to Motorist and all the stuff we've seen, as you can probably tell by my glasses. We got a little bit rained off at the end, all the old stuff started leaving. I've got a few clips, some of the more interesting builds like that Astra J, the internet's most controversial Vauxhall, which I actually quite like to be honest, it's different. So the update with the car is I'm clearly not on the way here, but I am trying not to drive it too hard or too far because the factory oil cooler looks like it's leaking down the back of the engine so that the back of the block's wet where it looked it after Cadwell. So that's that needs sorting. I've got one at home which is the Nevlock one with upgraded like steel braided hoses. So the car's going to gears at some point to ideally get that fitted. And I went to low down last month the VW and JDM me that's supposedly static and was actually full of diesel golfs doing burnouts. Typical for a UK car meet. So yeah, I went to that and noticed smoke coming out of the car after letting it cool down and then idling it while I ate a Mackey's before leaving. So I'm not sure, like, I revved it, it cleared up. I thought it was stem seals, but I checked with Rusty and they've done the stem seals. So the only other option is like turbo seals maybe, causing it to burn oil, but then the oil level hasn't gone down. I tried to do the same thing, drive it 10 minutes, let it cool down, idle it for 15 minutes, and it didn't smoke again. So I'm honestly, I'm baffled. I don't know what the problem is. So I'd like Giz to put a camera down the bores, check the turbo, just anything that they want to do to confirm that it's okay before I do another track day. We were meant to be doing Bedford in a couple of weeks and we've all bailed out on that to make sure the cars are all right, everything's sorted on them. So that's the status of the Astra at the minute. So get it in with Giz, get it checked over. Hopefully it gives it the okay. If it needs anything, we'll get it sorted. And then I'm gonna track it at least once and then book Nürburgring for August, which will also be on the channel. Nothing mod-wise coming up, apart from big brakes before then, because uh, the stock VXR brakes will not be up to the ring. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll leave you with a little montage of the sends as always. Like, subscribe, comment, all that. And I'll see you in the next one. On the way home I run into this little group, a red Nova and a blue one, and a 500 horsepower C20 swapped Chevette, which is definitely one of the more unique cars and sick to see out on the road. But yeah, with that I'll see you in the next video. But I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly I'm not really sure I want saving